This video is brought to you by Squarespace. For the next 48 hours, we are going to be living with a nomadic family right here in the middle of Mongolia. Hey, we're Stephen, <laughs> Jess, Little Hunter and Baby Koa, an Australian family who is continuing on their amazing exploration of beautiful Mongolia. <laughs> A few days ago, we flew into Mongolia to begin our 10-day journey, and now we are digging deeper into the incredible Mongolian culture, hiking up gorgeous hills, and seeing how the locals live. Okay, I'm ready to milk a cow. A bunch of dead meat above me. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, traveling through the middle of nowhere as we deal with Mongolia's unpredictable weather. <gasps> the storm weather. is definitely here. Welcome to day three here in Mongolia. We've woken up somewhere in the northeast of Mongolia, and to get here was quite the mission. Yesterday, we basically drove. Where did we drive, Hunter? There weren't even roads, were there? They were just driving off into the grass, crossing rivers, went up this mountain, and then we just arrived in the middle of nowhere at this little eco lodge. And we're just really excited to see what else Mongolia has to offer. So, we've had a super slow morning. It has been well needed. We literally woke up about 6 30, which was fine. It's 7 30 in our bodies, and we just hung out. We had some coffee, we chatted with our guides. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, some coffee. Thank you. Breakfast was served for us. Morning. Hello. Oh, buffet buffet. breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. What? Hunter, look, there's even strawberries, Hunter. Strawberries. Bananas. I don't know. We've just been enjoying this absolute peaceful place. It's so relaxing out here. Where we're staying, it's an eco lodge out in the middle of nowhere, and there's these little wooden huts around. So, hut for us to sleep, hut for the toilet, and then there's a restaurant hut where they've cooked us breakfast. I will admit, we thought coming here we were going to eat potatoes for 10 days. <laughs> I'm impressed with the food. Maybe not three people that have come to Mongolia. They say 95% meat. <laughs> and because we don't eat meat, we're just like, okay, we'll just eat rice and potatoes for. But this is like. So good. Oh Too much food. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Love the shirt. <laughs> what are you? An idiot sandwich. But we're on to the next spot. Let's pack up. And see where we go. Hello. <laughs> Maybe you will find me funny. Maybe you will find me true. Why can't I think about me? How things will do. So because we did a lot of driving yesterday, I means today we can do more exploring. We stopped at our first spot. Here in Mongolia, uh, Buddhism would be the main religion, so we've come across a little shrine. You can do a ritual. You get three rocks, one for happiness, sadness, and happiness, once again. And you walk around clockwise and you kind of make your wishes and hopes for the year, and then you individually throw each rock up in anticipation of having a good, successful year. Maybe you want a baby, success in your job. Good work. Okay, and then we keep walking. And yeah, it's just up here, once again, in the middle of nowhere. But it is rainy now. <laughs> Over here, so it's a picture of a rhino. So look here, this is the body. And that's its horn just there. And this is from the second century. That's older than dad. Older than grandpa. So long ago. And they left here and it's still here. It's so incredible. First of all, I don't think I've ever picked up something from the Stone Age. Look at this, it almost looks like a knife that they would use. It's just out here for anyone to pick up. I'm so used to just seeing it behind a museum. This is where we've come from. We thought we'd uh, put the, the bad weather behind us, but look at this. That's where we're heading. <laughs> you can see, look at the contrast from this nice, grass area to that storm and we're just driving straight towards it because that's our next spot. <gasps> the storm is definitely here. It went from sun to storm in seconds. <laughs> This is cool. We've stopped off at one of our guide's grandma's house, and this is where we're going to be cooking lunch today. She really just lives in the middle of nowhere, doesn't she? <laughs> it's your grandma's it's place. Oh, your, your yeah, grandma. Yeah, yeah, his grandma. And look, they've got like little, it's a baby cow. Yeah. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you eating for lunch? What is it? Oh, thanks. I'll have it. Mm, thank you. Well, I eat my boiled potato. Let's have a look. This is your house, Hunter. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. 
Oh, Hunter, okay. they might have a little lolly here. Hi, Koa. Koa there. <laughs> Hi, Koa. <laughs> He's happy to be out of the car seat. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. They served us tea, yeah. homemade bread, homemade cream, and then what's hanging up there is homemade sweets, all made out of milk. Oh, we have to try that. Mm. Let's try. Mm. It's like a, almost like a sour cream. Mm, it's good. See how it's hanging up here? They make it. Want to try? They say it's like a sweet wheat made of milk. Oh yeah, it's sweet. Mm. It's really strong. Oh, you going, yes. It's so strong. Mm, a sour, sweet, and really strong taste. Steve, you need to come taste this. All right, taste this first. Okay. So it's super strong. Wow. That's really strong. It's kind of like a beef jerky, Mongolian style. A bunch of dead meat above me. <laughs> They're telling me a really interesting fact actually about Chinggis Khan. Mm -hmm. When he went into China, he would go to, you know when there was like, like a, I don't know, like a castle where they couldn't penetrate it and all people would be living in there. They would surround it and they would wait them out till they ran out of food. So like just say it would take two months, they would run out of food. But the way that the Mongolians didn't run out of food is that they'll get like, they'll dry all the meats and they'll crush it into a powder. So they could have like a whole cow in the size of this and they'll just put a little teaspoon in hot water and drink that. And that's how like they would sustain themselves until the empire ran out of food. Wow. That was so cool. Oh, hi Anta. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. This is what smells super good. I think it's like tofu veggie. Yum. Potatoes. Do you want some of this? Yes, please. So, you guys are probably wondering, who are all these people that are kindly taking us around Mongolia? So, when we wanted to come here, we heard it's a country where you probably 100% want a local guide to take you around because even the roads, i still trying to figure them out. I see road signs, but I don't see road. This is what I mean, guys. Look here, it's a road sign, right? Something something is this way. There's no road. It just says 15 kilometers through the forest. How are you meant to navigate around this country? <laughs> we looked online, we found a local guide, and then we realized when we um, you know, paid for our local guide to take us around that uh, it came with four. We have a driver, a guide, a second guide, and our own personal chef that comes around with us, including this car, which is our mobile kitchen. <laughs> the cows that gave us the milk, that made the cookies that were hanging in the ceiling, just strolling past. <laughs> <laughs> You're a naughty guy. I'm the naughty guy? Yeah. I'm gonna, can I come catch you? No, I'll you be a naughty guy. I get people. Okay. You hold it and you try and get me. <laughs> ah, you're the naughty girl. <laughs> Let me get you like a boy. Like a boy? <laughs> you? You're a naughty guy. Let me carry you in the jail. <laughs> What's inside it? Maybe hot tea? Maybe hot tea? Yeah. Maybe a uh, marshmallow? Maybe marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see me? Hello! Should we go look inside what the girl looks like? Should we have a look? This has got a girl. So Hunter, do you know here in Mongolia, people sleep in these big tents called girls. We go into it. We're going to sleep in it. What do you think? Into it. Yeah, of course. Are they all unlocked? Uh. Should we look at this one? Say knock knock. Is anyone in? I'm inside. Huh? Oh, come have a look. So cool. Yes. Tonight we are officially staying in our first hey. girl. Yeah. And what are these for, Hunter? That beds. They're beds. And then what's this bit for? Do you know what this bit is? This is very special. Fire. And what is a fire for? For marshmallow. <laughs> you picked that bed? <laughs> when binoculars is just her full entertainment for the afternoon. Uh, I just you, you can. This time we're coming at our bit. It is a chimney. Yeah. Alright, so what we do is this goes like this. 
and then you're going to climb inside it. Like a wormy in a cocoon. Mm -hmm. So you climb inside it. <laughs> yep, just like that. And then we zippy zippy up. <laughs> and then Hunter sleeps. <laughs> And we go to bed. Daddy, you wanna have your sleeping bag? Where's my sleeping bag? Mandy got it. Is it fun camping? Yeah. Yeah. And then you put your hood on. <laughs> I look like a basic. You look like a space, a space an astronaut? Yeah. Are you ready to see what daddy's gonna look like? Ready, Dad? Oh. Get it out. Oh, Dad's got bunnies on his. <gasps> Uh -huh. I look like a spaceship. I look like a spaceship? Where's Mummy's? Where, where, where go? Where is mine? Where's your Scott? Yes. What? Can I be a spaceship? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, we're all in together. Oh, this is so warm. I'm oh, sure. Yeah, I get hot with this that fire. Perfect. Bongolia. <laughs> we're in a go. Got the fire going, got the sleeping bags. Tonight, we're officially going to have our first ever night in Here a traditional girth. Thank you for the pillow. Luckily, don't fun. worry, there are two beds. Two of us on there's this. four beds in here. Yes, but we've taken up two of them with all our bits yeah. and bobs. Come on in, girl. Why say bits and bobs? Because we've got lots of bits and bobs. <laughs> we don't have bits and bobs. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sleepy now. Our both babies are asleep. We're cooking traditional dumplings for dinner. I feel like this has just been on the top of my bucket list for so long. And I keep saying it, but I just can't believe it when I'm just standing in the middle of the Mongolian wilderness. Bucket list moment right here. Yeah, try it back. You make them look so easy. <laughs> it is easy. Is it easy? easy I saw you were doing it pretty fast too. So this oh. one's thicker, thinner, yes. and this part is thicker. thicker. Okay. Yep. So, you can so grab it and we'll grab a little bit yep. of this first. So hold it and roll. Yeah. <laughs> you made it look so easy. At this rate, we're going to be having dumplings at midnight. <laughs> uh, good? <laughs> no? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's Gordon Ramsay. Wow, yeah, this is where she can wear the Gordon Ramsay t shirt and I can't. <laughs> so, is this a traditional Mongolian dumpling? Dump, dump, dump. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah, put lots. Yeah, a lot. Okay, I need to put more. So you yes. her left, uh, right yes. thumb, left thumb. Oh, to keep the it, stuff in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 keep it, that'll be my one. <laughs> Come on, see if you got to try this. <laughs> see if you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's was better? Me better? So better. <laughs> Yeah, I need, I need confirmation. So here are our dumplings that we made, what, two of them or three of them? <laughs> the rest were made by them. Looks so good. So these are traditional Mongolian dumplings and we have a traditional Mongolian salad. So it's like egg, potato, carrot. I think sometimes they put ham in it if it's like the traditional way. But it looks so yummy. And then we've got a girl just here that we're going to be using as our little dining room tonight. Yeah, there you go. There's a traditional one. See, it's got like the little ham bits in it. Hey, enjoy. Yeah, you too. Thank, Thank you so much. Sechi dumpling. Mm-hmm. That is so good. Wow. It's so homemade. Mm -hmm. And it is. Oh, <laughs> y'all. Yum. Do you like dumplings? Yeah. Yeah. We just want to say a big thank you to our longtime friends and partners of the channel Squarespace for supporting our family and making this Mongolia series happen. So if you are new, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform we can easily put together a website or blog. As you guys know, our travel blog with tips, advice, everything on there is built on Squarespace. Just easily put it together. And if you want to do it and you might get stuck or you're a little bit worried, it's easy. They have 24-7 customer support. You just chat to them. They let you know what to do. And and you can get back on top of it. So if you want to start your own website or blog today, head to our link in the description below to get a free trial plus 10% off your first purchase. Now let's keep traveling Mongolia. We'll leave it all behind and start to finish. Daddy, the what do we, what do we, what's our name, what should be? Come on, everyone, realize the, um, the sun comes through about five in the morning. So we're letting mom have a sleep in. Did you tell baby mom a story? It was a busy day with baby. He was so hungry. And him went and had baby milk. And him and him 
Boca, from the most beautiful day here in Mongolia. It is crazy how much the weather can just change. Mm -hmm. Like from thunderstorms to this. But we successfully slept our first night in a gur. It's somewhere between camping and... Uh, yeah, it kind of just feels like camping really. Yeah, and honestly the little fire inside our tent warmed everyone up. And yeah, this morning our guide was so nice. He picked up a traditional outfit for Hunter. And for Koa. She's obsessed because it's in pink. So and little Koa. I have to put his on later. Now we're just going to head off to breakfast. So something super interesting. As you guys, uh, if you've seen our last video, have seen that really there are just no roads out here. You are just driving and somehow our local guides know exactly where they're going. Which means plans can change. We had originally planned to stay across the river, but as you guys saw, it was bloody yesterday. And our car couldn't actually get across there. So there were just these girls out here and uh, they just went and chatted to the local family that owns these girls. Said, hey, can we just crash for the night? And they said, yeah, no worries at all. Which brings me to our next point. You actually can't own land in Mongolia besides the city. You can't just pop up an apartment where you want in the city. But out here in the countryside, there's a law that because this is such a nomadic country, you can't own the land. So you can literally just build a girl or build your winter house where you want. Of course, once you build it, people can't just go inside your girl. You've got to, of course, ask for permission like we did. It's pretty cool how really this trip, we don't know what's going on. It is just following the guide. He says, we're going here, place I've never heard of. And we're just going to learn. Going in the water. Hunter, so we're going to look inside the house. Hi, Daddy. Watch your head, Hunter. We're going to see they're making cream. Hi. Hello. Send my note. And they're doing the secret in different ways. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Butter. Oh, okay. So they yeah. can turn may, the cream may, into may butter. Makes, yeah. So. This morning, we have come out to a local nomadic family, so a lot of Mongolians are still very nomadic. So about three and a bit million people live in this giant country, and about one and a half million live in the cities. The rest are out here in the countryside. And what's really cool is, of course, we're here in summer, and generally the nomadic people here of Mongolia, they'll have a summer house and they'll have a winter house. We have come out to their summer house. They, of course, will hang out here until it gets too cold, where they'll move to their winter house. To give you guys an idea of how cold it gets, in Ulaanbaatar, one of the coldest capitals in the world, get to negative 50 degrees in winter. That just, I've been in negative 25 and that was unbearable. I couldn't even imagine what negative 50 is like. You, you try? Oh yeah, try some? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that tastes good. <laughs> yeah, wow. Wow. Hunter wanted to know what she's making and she's like, I want to play with the Play-Doh. <laughs> Did you want to ask if you can have a go? Oh, oh, very good. Uh, Oh, is that what we had yesterday? Uh, a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. So this is the curds that we saw them making. Yeah. Okay, cheers. Let's try it. It's got a different name. Oh, arrows the same Arrow. but different. It tastes the same as yesterday's. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one thing. Woo. It's like so strong for me. <laughs> Mmm, it's the sour. It's the sour. <laughs> Hunter, do you want to try it? <laughs> Even she's like. <laughs> she's like <that's> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. So it's kind of cool. The oven that's inside, well, the living space can be used for multiple things. One, of course, is going to be heating up the entire room and it is getting very warm in here. And two, there's a little bread oven just to the side here. And three, you might be thinking we're making pizza or at least Hunter's thinking we're making pizza. I guess we are making wraps or dipping bread. They're actually making noodles, which is pretty cool how that's gonna turn out. I don't think I've seen noodles cooked this way before. I see it. This nomadic family uh, relies heavily on the cow's milk. Uh, one, of course, for their consumption, and two, to actually sell um, to make a little bit of an income. And they use absolutely everything. So, one, we got this little machine just behind me here. And this is actually going to separate the milk to like the cream, like the best bit. So they take, they'll send about 30 litres of milk, get separated into our two litres of cream. 
which is this one here, which I tried. And then you're probably wondering what they do with the other 28 liters. Well, they turn it into curd. And the curd in there, they actually also dry out and they put it into little sweets that we have tried. And yeah, they sell a lot of the stuff. Where are we off to? Is it a pretty good view? It might fall down there. Might? That'll be extra safe, okay? I see a whole view up there. Is it beautiful? I think that's a wolf. I think it is a wolf, yeah. That's not a real wolf. It's a pretend? Yeah. Wow, look at the view, Hunter. Can you see everything up here? Yeah. Wow. That's the river we this were meant to cross. Really? Yeah. Don't I don't think so. <laughs> wow, this looks so beautiful up here. Am I going to get a smile? Hi. So this is what we keep coming across uh, that keeps derailing our plans is the flooding here is just next level. We need to get over there. But as you can see, Ogre, our guy, just walked out there. But the cars can't get out there. We might get stuck in the middle of this. And as you can see, like the river is, it's flowing. It's flowing there. So um, yeah, I don't know if we can get across. We're heading to the local village. Let's see what's next. Pops, is this what you pictured? Mongolia? No, I did. Just nature, right? I wasn't expecting it to be so green. I guess because we came to the eastern part. I feel like every area is different up here. Oh. Do you like mommy's new dress? This is what the, like, is this traditional clothing for yeah. the mom? It looks yes. like my dress. So this is what they would wear when they're milking yeah, cows? Like my dress. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it looks it's a bit like fancy. What do you think, Hunter? Mm. Do you like it? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool? Hey, that's your favorite color. It is my favourite colour, yellow is my favourite colour. Good remembering. What you wearing? I'm wearing what a traditional Mongolian would wear. Okay, I'm ready to milk a cow. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't think I've ever milked a cow before, Steve. Oh, look at the little tiny baby cow. Uh, oh, look, she, look how much milk she's got already. Whoa. <laughs> we'll get to get a milk a baby cow. A milk a baby cow? Well, the baby cows don't have milk. They're the ones drinking all the milk. Do you see? Look, see how the baby's drinking the milk? From the mummy? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, let me see. I don't know what I'm doing. Pull it. Okay. Oh, there's a baby. Oh! Oh, shout, shout. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah! Oh, that's coming out! Look at the baby's eating. Oh, so. There's a little baby eating there. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I don't know. This is so weird, Steve. Why do we drink this stuff? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you did good. I tried. <laughs> but it's also made me like not really want to drink milk anymore. <laughs> Yep. Here he is. How cute is this? And it is so warm. Our tour guide gifted us with traditional dress for Hunter and Koa. And look how big he looks. I think it's like a one year old. But he still fits him. Are you cozy, buddy? <laughs> so, Hunter, can you say horseshoe? Horseshoe. That's what these are called, horseshoe. They're a type of dumpling. So tonight we are having a different type of dumpling. I feel like in Mongolia they like their dumplings. I got it. Yeah, that's perfect. Which is a good thing because I love dumplings as well. Me too. You like dumplings? Yeah. Should we try it? Okay, let me so we cool down. Yeah, good idea. Too hot? Yeah. You gonna blow on it? Should I have a try? Me too. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Yeah? I love dumplings. Me too. Mmm. This time these are fried. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The dumplings are so good. Do you like it? Yeah. Mm. I had one bite. You had one bite. Are you going to have a second bite? No, no. I think. It also seems like with all their meals, they always are serving tea because mm. every night, every morning, every lunch, we're getting off a tea. Yeah. So we've got a tropical, tropical sunset. sunset. 20. Oh, they call them pyramids mm. for tea bag. Mm. Or there's some English tea as well. You want some herbal tea? Mm. Mm. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Stephen Shows You Our Toilet Situation because as you can see, it is just the girl camps behind us. There's no bathrooms. They're going to set up a shower for us. It is, uh, what, day three of no showers, which is fine. It just feels like we're camping, but 
You're looking around. Stephen, where do you go to the bathroom? That's it over there. Have you guys thought the outhouse was uh, interesting? I've been told this is even more interesting. <laughs> First review, 10 out of 10 for the view of the toilet. So, oh wow. It's literally a hole. And you just stand over said hole while trying to swat the flies away. <laughs> yep, this is it. I don't even know what to say. You guys can let us know. <laughs> What's going on? Ready for a shower? Oh yeah, so ready. It's been four days and we I'm haven't had... Shower too. You I'm and... my clothes off. <laughs> All right, okay, I want to show you how it works. Come here. It's pretty cool. I haven't used one like this before. Look, so this is like, I guess, a camping shower. But all the water's in here, and it's a pressure with a pump. So if it starts losing pressure, you pump. And then what's going to come out of here, Hunter? What's going to come out of here? No, red bump. Run! Oh, did you have work? <laughs> I think you pump. 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 <laughs> <laughs> huh? Where's Hunter? I'm gonna wash my hair, Steve. <laughs> Run. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Don't come close to Mama. Oh my goodness, you don't realize how much you appreciate a shower until you have not had one in a while. <laughs> I feel like a new man. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this little Mongolia bit. We still have plenty more adventures to go on. We're heading to the national parks, I think, so. Oh yeah. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you are new here, hit subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one soon. Bye. <laughs>